If any of y'all are interested in converting to a spin-on filter like I was, I'll link this video at the end. So to show you how to install this, I'm going to uninstall it. And I'm going to reveal the great secret that some of y'all might not like about the Fomoto drain valve. So check this out. I've already drained all the oil, let it drip for an hour, but look how much more oil is going to come out. In fact, it's over a cup of leftover dirty oil. The reason is simple. The threads on the drain valve are taller than the threads on the drain pan, so there's a pull created around them. Is that a deal breaker for me? Nah. So let's look at how we install it. It's about as easy as you'd think. Clean the area, put the gasket on it, tighten it up, snug it up by hand. Once you got it snug by hand, just take it another quarter turn until it's nice and truly snug. Don't go crazy and you'll be good. The coolest little part is the plastic clip that clips on and keeps the lever from being activated. Cons are it hangs a little low, but not as low as the cross member, and it only gets about 95% of your oil drained. Pros are it's very easy to use, and on windy days you can hook up a little bit of rubber hose so your oil draining doesn't get all over your driveway. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next time on Team Oil Drop.